right. <laughs> no filter MMA family. <clears throat> this is your boy BJ back with another video short. The climb to the top of the 125 pound division for Jillian Robinson has begun. I'm going to say that one more time, guys. I'm going to get that out one more time. The climb to the top of the 125 pound division for Jillian Robinson has begun. Now, me and Jillian, we've talked about Andrea Lee before. We talked about Andrea Lee when Montana De La Rosa fought Andrea Lee. And Jillian Robinson has been aware for a very long time that she, in fact, may indeed end up fighting. That she may indeed end up fighting Andrea Lee. She knows that. Jillian Robinson knows that. And so, and Jillian, for some reason, when it comes to Andrea Lee, Jillian Robinson says she feels a finish for Andrea Lee. Like, she feels like she can easily finish Andrea Lee. And I said, well, Jillian, why do you feel like when it comes to Andrea Lee that you could get an easy finish over Andrea Lee? And Jillian said just because of the way she fights. The way she fights is just so predictable. Jillian was like, it's so pre like I can predict what she's about to do. And Jillian said, I know I can get her to the ground. And I know I can finish her. So, woo! Andrea Lee is on a three-fight skid, guys. She's on a three-fight skid. Um, the fight with De La Rosa was close. She got beat up by Roxanne Montefiore. I mean, I mean, geez. She got beat up by Montefiore. But Montefiore is tough. It is what it is. But back to Jillian Robertson. Jill this fight is on December 15th. Jillian Robertson is not playing games in 2020, guys. She's not playing games in 2020. And if she can snag a win over Andrea Lee, I mean, I guess she just, I guess she just, you know, <clears throat> She just, you know, then moved on from Antonina Shevchenko. You know what I'm saying? Like, Antonina ducked the fight. So, Jillian was like, okay, well, I'm going to find somebody who will actually take a fight. Somebody who will actually take the smoke. And, and Andrea Lee said yes. Because I know Jillian Robinson has been fishing and looking for somebody to fight. And a, and a lot of people, a lot of people have said no to Jillian Robinson. Like, that's what baffles me. It's how many people... I mean, Jillian Robinson is not supposed to be a staple in this division. Like, she's not supposed to be anyone that anyone... You know, anyone that somebody should be scared of. You know what I'm saying? But these girls are ducking... These girls are actively turning down fights with Jillian Robinson. Now, on Alexis Davis's Instagram the other day, I did say... that a, I did say a fight with Jillian Robinson would be nice. Because someone asked Alexis Davis... When do you fight next? She was like, hopefully soon. That's what she said. So, and I put huh, a fight with Jillian Robertson would be nice. And she loved it. She liked the she liked the response. I'm like, well, uh, I'm sure Alexis Davis, and I never, I never accused Alexis Davis or heard of Alexis Davis turning down a fight. Never, not once since I've been following this. I've never heard of Alexis Davis turning down a fight. You know what I'm saying? But the rest of them, Antonina. You know, Roxanne, all of, Roxanne Montefiore turned down a fight with Jillian Robertson. You know what I'm saying? We all know Antonina turned down a fight with Jillian Robertson. It is what it is. It, 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 it is what it is. So, we ain't gonna harp on that too much, guys. But, please be looking. As far as, as, far as the stylistic matchup in this fight, if Jillian Robertson doesn't, she, she has to go out here and get KGB down. Like, Jillian Robbins shouldn't eat too many shots on the feet from, from, from KGB because it's one thing about Andrea Lee, man. If, if Andrea Lee hits you, man, she hits you. You know what I'm saying? Like, Andrea Lee can hit. <clears throat> A little weird with her striking, like, very... I don't know. It's like there's no kill switch with Andrea Lee. Like, Andrea Lee not trying to kill girls when she go out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jillian Robinson out here trying to end these girls. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just don't feel like... <clears throat> I feel like the advantage on the feet goes to Andrea Lee. We all know Andrea Lee's a good Muay Thai fighter. Strong fighter. Um, but I think Jillian Robinson is going to stick to Andrea Lee. Kind of like glue here. Just to wear Andrea Lee down. <clears throat> We've seen Andrea Lee fade in the past. We've seen how that that's happened. She faded in the Montana De La Rosa fight. Well, Montana was also faded. So, we had two faded fighters fighting in the third round. Um... And, uh, 
you know, I think Jillian will get this fight to the ground. Of course. I mean, what I, what else? Jillian will play around on the feet with Andrew Lee. You know what I'm saying? Make Andrew Lee think that Jillian going to beat her up. You know what I'm saying? Be think, make uh, make uh, Andrea think that Jillian going to stand there and fight with her. And then Jillian going to take her down to the ground. And then that's where the methodical, technical ground game and the black belt of Jillian Robinson comes into play. That's when it comes into play. When Jillian Robinson gets you to the mat, then the equation starts happening. It's just crazy how Jillian Robinson just, I mean, piece by piece, just breaks these girls down on the ground and forces these girls into positions that they have trained diligently not to get into. You know, so it's crazy. But we'll see, guys. Let's see how this fight materializes. I'm going to have to hit Jillian up and see... You know what I'm saying? Just ask her real quick over the interview, Jillian, what is your... And, 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 and me and Jillian talked to... Like I said, we talked about Angela, Andrew Lee, but I'm going to hit Jillian up in her inbox and be like, yo, Jillian, what's the game plan? I would never reveal her game plan, but what's the game plan? This is your boy BJ, back from No Filter Champion, man. Drop those comments in the comment section. Hit that like button, hit that dislike button. And if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button and I'm out.